Greetings, and thanks for joining me here at Zandvoort in R Factor 2. We're testing out the latest release from Studio 397, which is the Tattoos MSV F3. So we're going to make a handful of laps around here. I'm just going to talk about the car and let you know what I think. All right, so I've spent a little bit of time here with the car. Again, not changing the setup, just trying to get used to the car and how they're presenting it to everyone. It's on the Steam Workshop for free, so it's not something that you pay for, which is nice. In all seriousness, I... This car, uh, well, let's start by saying that right there kicks in really early. It's... I don't know if it's that's like a diff setting. It only seems to slightly mitigate it. I have played with the diff setting. Uh, you just have to be really careful with the throttle coming out of the corner. It never really gives you a secure feeling. You have to have a pretty high speed corner to feel like you can really get in the throttle. You really have to be patient with it. It wants to spin the tire right away. Uh, brakes also seem to be fairly sensitive with this car. It's really easy to lock up the brakes. You really have to pay attention and there's no sense of threshold braking, at least that I can feel, to give me an indication. So sometimes I under brake like that because I'm not quite sure where the lockup point is and you can really feel flat spotting in this car. So it's, it's wow. The car just never quite feels stable. It always has this deal where the car is just moving around the track a lot. Some people are going to like that. I'm, I'm slightly skeptical. I mean, this car shouldn't have be absolutely glued to the track. It's, it's going to move around. But it, the w manner in which it moves around the track is interesting. Now, maybe the car, see, maybe the car really does feel like this. Maybe it is really this sensitive on the brakes. Uh, but I just, I don't feel like I get to use the whole brake pedal. I don't feel like I can strongly use the brake pedal when I need to. A car like this requires a lot of rolling momentum. So most of the time, you're going to be barely using the brake. But the... The difference from barely using the brake to, oh my god, you're locking up the tires, is not that large. And again, there's just no feel to tell me when that's happening. It's more like a memory. It's almost like I'm driving with a potentiometer instead of a load cell on the brake. So it just seems a little sensitive to me. A uh, car is will whip the back end a little bit. It doesn't do the slide thing, which I like, so that's okay as far as getting the car through the corner. Cars are always kind of unstable through there, depending on the car. Again, I'm, you can watch my throttle and brake inputs. I'm really not giving it a lot of throttle uh, in magnitude, in orders of magnitude to necessitate it spinning the tire like that to me. Uh, see, I've, I've locked up the tire just a little bit. I can already feel the wheel shaking, which I actually don't care for. I don't really need to know that I've flat spotted the tire like that. I know it's immersive, uh, but it's rather annoying. So I'm going to have to figure out how to probably have to go to the INI file and turn that off or something because I, I just, I don't need to know that. Um, I can see it in the smoke and I can see it in other things. I, I don't need to constantly feel that shutter from the god dang it I don't need to feel that shutter from the flat spots in the tire so the car is okay uh, it is free you have your little it's not a halo kind of they, they call it a halo it's just the the protector that they put on uh, which you can turn down like I have to take it down to 90% instead of a hundred percent where it would be solid and you couldn't see through it at all. That doesn't bother me. Car sounds okay. Uh, cars look okay. Only like 10 paint schemes. So if you're happen to get in a multiplayer race with a decent amount of people or you like the offline thing, you've only got 10 different paint jobs, which is unfortunate. And again, our factor two does not make it incredibly easy to import paint schemes 
for use, especially in single player. It's a little easier for multiplayer. It doesn't not register the paint. Uh, but overall, car is okay. Some people are really going to like this because the car definitely moves around a lot. I would be would be interesting to try to drive one in real life and and figure out the differences because I'm just not getting a good sense of what the car can really do. It's doesn't really feel planted most of the time. Every once in a while, I kind of feel like I can tell what the car's doing. But most of the time, it's a bit ambiguous. Uh, tires feel odd. Like, I'm, I'm not getting any sense of, like, load on the car through there at all. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway. It is free, so it doesn't really doesn't matter uh, a whole lot, I guess, about my opinion. You can go try it for yourself, and maybe you'll like it, or maybe you'll have the same opinion I do. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed. You've been great. I've hit the rev limiter and been strange. Take care, and I will catch you in the next video.